Life is tough in the Arctic, even for the strongest animal, the polar bear, who has no natural enemies. This is a very dramatic video about a mother polar bear and two cubs. They are hungry and in a desperate search of food. The mother is very skinny, as you will see shortly, and to survive, she has to get some food relatively quickly. They, they smell blood from a male polar bear kill site, and they are moving in his direction. As I said, they have no enemies. This is true, except of a polar bear itself. Polar bear can kill another polar bear, and they certainly don't share food. So the only way for this mother to get food is by fighting. In the normal circumstances, she would never approach a male bear with her cubs, as males are much stronger and capable to hunt and kill cubs. They have very good sense of smell, and she knows that there is another polar bear at the kill site, and she knows that that bear is a way of her approaching. So they're getting very close to the ice sheet, and they're getting on it. She knows that the kill site with another bear is very close. Both cubs follow her. They sh shake excess of water, like dogs do. One of them is faster, another is more curious. They direct themselves by sense of smell. They don't know exactly where the kill site is. You see, mother is standing on her kind legs, trying to have a look. Maybe it is on this iceberg? No, she couldn't see it. The cubs follow all what she's doing. They look all in the same direction. Well, let's go in water again and swim again. The mother jumps first and then both kids follow her. As you can see, they swim very close after each other like ducklings after a mother duck. They are very hungry. And this is another reason for them to stay very close to their mother. Just around this little iceberg, there is another ice sheet on which the male bear is already waiting for them, because he knows they are coming. They will see each other just in a few moments. Yes, that's him. He guards his prey and many arctic fulmars, the birds, are patiently waiting for their share of the kill because they know the polar bear will leave something behind him. The polar bear is a little bit anxious, but not very much. He knows he is strong and he is ready to defend his kill. And probably he knows who is coming too. Probably they know each other. Maybe he is her cub in the past. Maybe she is his mother. He is not agitated at all. Neither he is aggressive. He is waiting at the same spot, not approaching the edge of the ice sheet. Now they are coming closer. They see each other. And probably at this moment, mother is telling to her cubs, you stay in water, you don't go with me on the ice sheet, I will talk to him myself. Now she is confronting him. She is twice as small as him, and she knows she is weaker. No. He is not going to make much harm to her, but he doesn't allow her to go to food. He just wants to send her away. Get out of here. No luck. She jumps in water and swims away. And she is afraid that the male would follow them. She turns around very often. No, he is not following. That's good for them. If the male bear was aggressive, he could kill one of her, of her cubs, maybe both of them. The kids repeat what mother is doing. They turn their heads and also watch backward. Now they need to find something else for food. They have to hunt. The problem is that the hunting seal in summer is much more difficult than it is in winter. In winter the surface is frozen and seals have to use very few breathing holes that they maintain themselves for months. The bear tactic is to wait without moving at the breathing holes and catch the seal when it emerges at the surface. 
In summer, seals use breathing holes on the occasionally, as the, there is a lot of open water. Good luck, bears.